नमस्कार एंड वेलकम अगेन टू प्लैनेट टू सोल एस्ट्रोलॉजी सो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ विल बी योर वर्किंग प्रोफाइल और हाउ विल बी योर वर्क प्रोफाइल और वॉट टाइप ऑफ वर्क यू विल बी डूइंग और वॉट टाइप ऑफ वर्क यू विल बी लाइकिंग बट स्टिल यू आर नॉट एबल टू दैट डू दैट पर्टिकुलर वर्क और प्रोफेशन और बाय डिफॉल्ट सम प्रोफेशन आर कमिंग ऑन यू से फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू हैव डन इंजीनियरिंग बट यू आर वर्किंग इन अ मैनेजमेंट कंपनी और यू आर वर्किंग एज अ मैनेजर और इफ यू आर अ डॉक्टर यू आर वर्किंग एज अ एक्टर सो मैनी थिंग्स सो और इवन दो वॉट एवर यू हैव नॉट लर्न स्टिल यू हैव दैट कैपेबिलिटी और एबिलिटी टू सर्व पीपल और सर्व सेल्फ ऑल्सो एंड योर सोर्स ऑफ इनकम इज थ्रू दिस वर्क सो बेसिकली टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू discuss one of the uh, technique one of the method which will tell that what will be your source of income or how will be uh, or what type of work will be there for you so here first of all we have to see that basically everyone knows that 10th house is our profession house but before that we have to see that all three houses which are earth trikon which are finance houses second house sixth house and 10th house all these three houses are finance houses so whenever you are seeing your 10th lord or 10th house simultaneously you have to see how they are connected to each other like how 10th lord is connected to second lord and sixth lord if they are very nicely connected to each other then definitely you can see that your wealth status will be better but through what work your wealth status will be better because for that you have to see your third house of chart third house is our courage house third house is whatever struggles whatever efforts whatever parakramas you are going to do to earn a livelihood or to uh, guide people or to uh, self motivate also everything your transformation whatever transfers whatever travels internal external travels small travels to bigger travels everything is hiding in your third house of chart third house is also seventh to uh, seventh house of your ninth house which because that is your bhagya sthana and third house is also you can say it is uh, sixth house of your tenth house because Sixth to any house is your prarabdha. So whatever planets are posited in your third house of chart, definitely your work profile will be connected to that planet. Even if you do not have any planet posited there, and if you have only sign posited in your third house, then see where that Lord is sitting, which house that Lord is sitting. So you will do your struggles. You will do your work. towards that signification only say for example if you have gemini sign in your third house of chart and you, you do not have any planet then just see that where this mercury is lying see if mercury is lying in your sixth house of chart so you can say that you have learned uh, things related to communication or you will do your parakramas connected to finance banking accountancy or communication consultations taxation audit and uh, above that if surya is also very good in the chart then definitely healing uh, profession or medicine profession you can say if you have uh, saturn in your third house of chart and if this saturn is uh, in uh, uh, say for example in uh, Uh, nakshatra of say ketu nakshatra or mangal nakshatra so definitely you can say that this person will be definitely into public sector work whenever you see third house positor saturn these people are mostly concerned and connected to mass people they are giving services like in hospitals asylums or public sector organizations corporations uh, i mean to say government corporations or semi government or wherever they are working maybe they have to travel a lot if this uh, saturn even though in uh, this nakshatra but happens to be in a movable sign 
uh, and with Ketu or in Ketu nakshatras and then definitely you can say that these people will travel a lot for earning the livelihood or always they have to attend certain meetings. So here you can confirm if you have only Ketu in your third house of chart. So you can definitely say that there are <clears throat> lot of travels in your life including everyday transformation for you because after certain period you are asked to travel somewhere and you are asked to fulfill the particular task given by your office people or given by your office that means every time there is your transformation because you are not working or you are not sitting at one place so this is like mercury saturn related work if you you have a venus say i am particularly talking about third house of chart because third house will show your struggles your hardship third house will show your affinity towards particular work because as i said it is sixth or prarabdha house of your 10th house as well as third house is also eighth to eighth house so eighth house is your hidden quality eighth house is your inner desire to do, do something eighth to eighth house is that is third house is your talent also so in your life cycle whenever your third house will get activated definitely whatever work you are into you will do something different from that work if you are an engineer maybe you will enter into jyoti shastra for example or you will enter into healing profession or you will enter into some business say if it is a venus like uh, planet and if you are you have good uh, mars also in your chart or even if you are a civil engineer or you are into engineering you will start your own business you will start your own work you will start your own consultancy services if jupiter and saturn are very well connected to your third house of chart so definitely you are more concerned about your study you like to study higher uh, high and high also you are a research oriented person and if sun is also connected to this third house and 10th house of your chart then definitely you can say that these people are becoming like a scientist or they have affinity to uh, do more research or they work as a faculty in some bigger organization and they teach others also regarding this teaching profession also if you are into if you have you know jupiter and mercury connectivity with your third house of your chart so definitely you can say that this person may be into uh, teaching uh, services like if your jupiter and mercury also being your third lord or your sixth lord or your tenth lord are trying to each other or they are uh, you know uh, 311 to each other or looking at each other by 180 degrees and definitely these people are into teaching profession or into talking profession rather into communication so mostly your parakram sthana will decide that what type of earning source you will be having then you have to see that i have this affinity i am ready to do parakramas or by default i am doing this uh, hardship or i am supporting myself to do this particular trials on myself but what is written in my 10th house of chart so whatever 10th house uh, chart is hold 10th uh, uh, house planet is holding or 10th house sign is holding definitely then comes that next sign you have to consider if uh, uh, say for example you have scorpio sign in your 10th uh, house of chart and that mars which is your scorpio lord so if that mars is connected to saturn nakshatra or is connected with saturn then definitely again you are into healing profession or you are working for other people you are into construction work and if then again what you will see that whether this nakshatra lord is stabilitated or exalted or in a neutral uh, uh, position the if it is debilitated then definitely you are into uh lower uh, grade work like you are not going to officer post or you are not going in a1 class 1 officer post you are working in a clerk level or semi clerk level or just above that you know supervisory work the this is the main thing which you have to see after third house if you are not able to judge anything just a simple thing what you have to do whatever 10th house 
planet is holding or sign is holding just say nakshatra lord of your 10th lord and just decide what type of work this person will be doing then comes your d9 chart d10 chart there are different methods to see in your d10 chart also some other day we will definitely uh, discuss about it so see friends every time uh, uh, giving description of each and every sign like if you have moon if you have sun whatever i am saying if you are true jyotish learners you have to implement and you have to learn all these things because if i will give you everything ready made you will just stick to that particular pro forma only and then sometime many people most of the comments are asking about their own personal charts so i am not able to answer all of those but definitely people who are uh, advising or who are suggesting particular topics definitely i am trying to uh, cover up all the topics so it is your own homework and uh, now in this lockdown also you have uh, e- enough time to give yourself towards your jyotish shastra even though the lockdown was not there uh, i i am very much sure that you all are dedicated jyotish lovers so definitely it is up to you see whatever techniques or whatever things are shared you have to just expand those things it is not that whatever one sentence is given you just have to stick to that one sentence you can make so many things out of it so many new things because if i say that you have to see nakshatra lord of your 10th house 10th lord you also have to see where, where is uh, the that particular 10th lord is sitting right where uh, if, if any that uh, 10th house is holding any other planets also in your chart so definitely you have to make combination of this planets and if this combination of planet if you have three or four planets also in your 10th house but any of these planets are not having direct connectivity with your second lord or sixth lord then definitely your earning source or wealth status will be differing no doubt that 10th house is 9 uh, 5 to 6th and 2nd uh, house but apart from that if you have any planet in 10th house that means you are in a good position at least that you have some direction in your life but if your 10th uh, lord is stabilitated or 10th lord nakshatra uh, is stabilitated nakshatra lord is stabilitated here i mean to say then definitely sometimes you need proper guidance proper directions because you are directionless that planet is not supporting you not uh, uh, you know cooperating you not coordinating with you and it is giving you uh, different type of ideas that now i will do this now i will do that you are always in a dilemma so this is the magic of your 10th house and 10th lord also and 10th lord nakshatrapati also and planets posited in 10th house as well as your third house third house is the basic by default by birth your basic talent you have to understand that talent 10th house is work what you are showing to this people what you are samajik or socially what you are but third house third lord planets posited in third house will decide that what is your inner capability what you are born for it is not necessary that whatever you are doing maybe you are earning money only out of it maybe you will earn name fame fortune you will earn earn good reputation you will earn good relationship out of that planet and when we are talking about those struggles definitely those struggles of third house those hardships or those trials of your third house will definitely cooperate your 10th house because they are connected 6 8 to each other now you will say that my 10th lord is going in third house or third lord is going in 10th house they are 6 8 to each other so here you have to see the strength of that particular planet if this planet is really uh, in a good strength then definitely you have direction to work like in um, technical profile or science profile or teaching profile education or so many other things like jyotish shastra also healing also medicine also paramedical also so 
this way you definitely have to decide the things so i'm very sure that you are subscribing my channel and uh, thank you once again for watching my videos and uh, next time i will come with some another topic do visit my website planet to soul.com if you need any type of consultations so by that time sabka mangal ho may all be blessed namaste